Android 12 is here. This is probably the biggest Android update in terms of design after the Android Marshmallow. Google released their stable version of Android 12 on 4th October 2021. And alongside, they also released the source code under USB. And what it means is we will now see custom ROMs based on Android 12. And guess what? Mi Adol series has already got its first USB build of Android 12. It's a bare-bone ASP ROM, so it doesn't have any fancy customization features. I installed it on my Poco Henry Pro, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at all the major changes Android 12 brings with this update and how good it performs on the Poco M2 Pro. Firstly, let's go to settings, then about menu, Android 12 and here if you tap on it couple of times it will bring up this clock and if you rotate the clock to 12 o'clock it will bring this Android 12 easter egg and yeah it's much better than the previous Android 11 ones. Now back to the home screen we have this new notification and quick toggle center. So now this area is not translucent, it's just a plain white and it's kinda look different and I don't hate it. Quick Tuggles is all bigger and bolder and it looks a bit better padded than what it was in the beta version. The device control which houses the smartphone control is now shifted here which was earlier present in the power menu. Also you get this bouncy animation which was there in the Android 11 too but it's much more intuitive and can also be seen in the third party apps. And now finally the most talked about feature of Android 12, the Monet. So Google introduced this new theming style called Monet. So what it does, it will pick some color from the wallpaper and makes it as the accent color. Now this new theming style is not limited to the settings and the notification panel but you can find this almost everywhere be it the keyboard, dialer, lock screen and also in some of the other Google apps. In future you might see it in other third party apps too. One thing which is missing here is the icon theme. In original pixel the icon also changes the color based on the wallpaper but here it's not working. Here I actually use the Android 12 icon pack which you can find in the play store to mimic the same. Another big change which Android 12 brings is the widgets. But again, this AOSP doesn't have much to offer. There's no new clock or calendar widget yet, but yeah, might arrive in the future. Now, I have been using this ROM for past few days and it is good. You can do phone calls, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, no problem in any of those basic functionalities. Also the performance seems to be pretty good too. I didn't notice any lags or any frame drops in games. Even the battery performance seems to be on par. The only problem is incompatibility of some of the apps. Even the Chrome, it used to get stuck after a couple of minutes of use. Apps like DigiLocker are also not working in this ROM. Also it doesn't have any customization center or any additional features. Not even the network speed indicator. So I don't think this ROM can be daily derived as of yet. Now if you are okay with all these bugs and still want to install it, then simply wipe your data. By wiping means you need to wipe your internal storage too. So make sure to back up all the necessary files beforehand. And once you are done with the wiping, flash the ROM and just boot into the system. If you have any doubts and queries, you can comment down below or you can connect with me on my other social media handles. The link will be there in the description section below. Until then, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.